Did your dad get the Gatorade? Oh. Mm-hmm. We're at their dad's house. And I'm just waiting. They already got it. Oh, okay. He's prepared. just like Ja'Kayla or Ja'Kayla looks just like him so we are just taking the kids to um, to Ja'Kayla's tournament in Nashville and uh, I know you guys are gonna have a lot of questions so I figured we can do a little session I'm putting him on the spot so he has no idea <laughs> what I'm about to ask him or what this session is going to be about. It's going to be about co-parenting. Alright. Yeah, so I know you guys will have a lot of questions. Like a lot of how how can you guys, you know what I'm saying, be so cordial and <laughs> co-parent. But um, yeah, so I think I'll let you start. Do you want to say anything about co-parenting? Yes. We just really got to this point, this co-parenting point, but it's always been like a, you know, like a desire of mine to have, you know, to do these things with their dad, to be able to take them and everyone be together. So just thankful that we're at this place right now because it's just good for everybody you know so uh, we decided right that we were gonna co-parent and do things together so we've been doing it. yeah that's what we've been doing we've been doing a lot of things together for the kids to make sure basically that the kids have everything they need a lot of what they want and you know to be able to make sure that you know these basketball tournaments we can make it happen on a friendly budget <laughs> by working together so yeah so we're gonna start um, doing a lot of things as far as like with the kids and stuff to make sure that everything gets done and make sure that you know the kids are able to do what they want to do, what they need to do. So how do you feel about that? He's kind of quiet. We always gotta put the kids first. Always put the kids first, yes. And just a little brief history on our relationship. It hasn't always been perfect. We were married for five years. We got married when we were really young. I was 20. I was 20, right? Somewhere around. Yeah. I was 20. I think you was 23. Yeah. Or 24. So we got married really, really young. So yeah, I met I met Jar his name is Jarvis. He's senior, of course. And that's Jarvis Jr. back there. So I met Jarvis Sr. when I came to Kentucky to visit my family after high school. So I was 18. Yep, I was 18, and then I came, I, w I was living in Virginia with my aunt and uncle and my um, three uh, cousins, three male cousins, and my sisters um, are here, I'm from Louisville, but I moved away when I was eight because my mother passed away, so I moved away and lived with my mother's sister and her husband and their three boys, so um, I moved away 
because my sister, I have two sisters, and they had the same father. I had a different father, so their father took them, and then my aunt took me. So I moved to Virginia with my aunt and uncle, um, but then I came back, and that's a whole other story I'm going to have to tell you guys about my experience living with my aunt and my uncle. <laughs> Or, you know, my um, living in Virginia, rather. So I came back to visit after high school because I missed my sisters. I missed my family. My grandmother was here. I had a couple of aunts and then uh, some other extended family. So I came to visit and then I met Jarvis. <laughs> How did we meet? <laughs> Do you even remember? Uh, a college party. At a college party. <laughs> was it a tailgaters? Headliners. Tailgaters. Well, yeah, we met at a college party. I was just so cute and he couldn't resist, of course. Too loud. <laughs> I was like skinny as a rail back then, wasn't I? Toothpick cuz. <laughs> he said toothpick cuz. <laughs> yes, so we met at the college party and then we just started hanging out when I was here on, you know, a vacation, on a little getaway. Then, like around Christmas time of that year that I graduated in 2002, I went back to Virginia to live with my aunt and uncle. And then I, when I went back, I was like, no, mm -mm, no. So I came right back and Jarvis was the only person I knew. He was like the only person that I knew. So anyway, we were dating. And then um, we had JJ, my son. And then we got married. Then we had Kayla. So yeah, so that's our, a brief little history of me and Jarvis, or Jarvis and I. So that so that you guys have a little background. So anywho, um, things didn't work out, and we got divorced in 2009, right? Yeah, we got divorced in 2009, and then, you know, he's had a relationship, I've had a relationship, so, you know, it's just been, you know, it was tough, it wasn't always easy, emotions and attitudes and things, of course, got in the way, so, right now, today, as we stand, there is just, for me, there is just a... Uh, a desire to want to be his friend and make sure that you know we can co-parent and everything is good and you know we can just do that for the kids putting the kids first and also I really do truly want a good relationship with the father of my children so that's where I'm at today that's where we're at today and so yeah I think I may want to do a little series on co-parenting maybe I think that would be fun to include Jarvis what do you think Jarvis uh, I gotta ask my agent first <laughs> just put him on the spot if we do that <laughs> yeah so I know you guys will have a lot of questions on how we're doing it how tough it is you know what to do in different types of situations right now we both we don't have any outside influences so it's just up to us you know we don't have anyone you know a girlfriend or a boyfriend we don't have anyone on the side that could influence us in different ways so I think that this is the perfect time to try to you know build the friendship like we need to have for our kids what do you think what she said what I said <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> we're on our way to Nashville, and I'll check in with you guys when we get there. Again, it's a basketball tournament for the weekend. So, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. If you guys have any questions for Jarvis, post them below as well. I'll make sure he answers them. I got you. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys soon. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Jaquela, how does it feel to be a winner? Tell them what happened. It happens all the time. 
<laughs> Tell them what just happened. Uh, well, we won. How much we won by? But it was a good game. Yeah. So you won the championship game. I think you won by like seven points. How many points did you score? Eight. All right. Great job. Great job.